This video is part three of a five-part series uh, that we did on the 380 pocket pistols. Uh, this one's going to quickly talk about grip and uh, grip options, and then the rest of the video is about sights and sight pictures. Something with these um, small 380s, and a lot of times uh, people will complain, especially with the ones with the smaller grips, that there's just not a lot in their hands. Now this Desert Eagle is a tough one because it's, it's all metal, it's not polymer, and uh, although there, it's pretty top-heavy, you know, there's a lot of gun on top there, and there's not a heck of a lot of fingers on it, um, I don't find this one jumping out of my fingers, um, something about it. So even though they might look a little awkward or top-heavy, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be. However, something like the uh, Ruger LCP, for sure the kel you can see it's already on the North American Arms, uh, they offer different magazine floor plates. So if we take this magazine and take a look at it, the floor plate there, uh, we can swap it out with one like this. In fact, this usually uh, ships with the LCPs. And what that gives you then is that extra little space there to get another finger. Good shoot and grip. For the black item, we'll just use any of the black grips there. And for the white item, we'll use this just white screen on the droid. So we'll set that just there so we can see it. And uh, let's start with this uh, Bursa CC since it's right in front of me. And again, it's the Bursa Thunder 380 CC, made down in Argentina. And of all the 380s, this is one of my favorites for sights. And I don't know what it is, they just definitely came up with a great system here. While it's not very high, you don't see it sticking protruding from the slide, it certainly is visible there against a dark background. Really pretty easy to get that sight picture right where you want it. When you bring it up against white, you lose it a bit, but because there is just a bit of actual uh, texture there, then you can still have enough lump to uh, get that sight picture against a white or a bright background or a target. Next up with the uh, Ruger LCP, very uh, slim, uh, kind of hard to acquire sights. You're basically going to go with this cup in the back and then that little post. And it's not too bad against this dark background, but trust me, when you're looking at a target, you know, 21 feet away, it's pretty tough. If we bring that up to the white background, you see that again, having just a bit of front sight post gives you something to silhouette. Not my favorite sights for sure. Okay, and the Keltec, again, a very low sight uh, post on this one. Possible to see it there harder to see it here and I'm just putting my finger back there because the serial number on this one is real bright on the back but um, while this one's very smooth for carry and for drawing uh, there's just not a lot of sight on this Caltech definitely it's big weak point in my opinion one of its big weak points let's take a look at this car one of my favorites I'm not a big fan of the dot the up and down dots I like to see three dots but this type of sight if you're familiar with it is real easy to acquire you just put those two dots together on your target. Against the white, a little tougher, but you do have enough of a front sight post that you can silhouette it. So, not bad. One of my favorite sights, for sure. The Guardian, they do stick up. However, they're very narrow. So while I believe you could probably get a really consistent, tight uh, sight picture with this, boy, is that going to be tough to you know, scrutinize quickly. So again, these aren't designed to be long-range distance shooters, but these sights are a little stretching it a little bit, in my opinion. Big fan of NAA, just not a big fan of those sights. Next up is the uh, PK380 from Walther. And again, we're talking about a large, and this is almost as big, probably as big as a Glock, so uh, should be fairly easy to acquire, and it sure is. Big, easy, standard sights, easy to acquire against multiple types of background. Again, you sacrifice little size pro issue, but you get nice sights. Jumping over to the Taurus. Haven't shot this one myself yet, but uh, very similar to the Ruger or the uh, kel -Tec. There's not much going on here. However, if you were to rub your fingers like I just did there, and then switch over to the Ruger, the Ruger's not quite smooth. You know, there's sharp edges, but these uh, Taurus are actually sharp. This is not comfortable to rub my hand here. Getting back to the sight picture, um, you know, it's it's just a bit prominent, 
but for me at least it's not that easy to acquire. There's nothing up front to catch the eye, so a little tough. Against that white background it's a little easier, but again this is your less common background than dark. The uh, Colt, and again we're basically looking at 1911 sights here. Small blade up front, a uh, notch in the back. Pretty easy to acquire against the dark, possible to acquire but not super easy against the light. Again, we're talking 1980s, so definitely not a modern uh, defensive pistol by any means. And then last, we'll have to move everything here, and we'll get the uh, well the PPKS. And again, larger pistol, so it should be a little easier. Not too bad. Sort of the best and worst worst of everything. We've got the two dots on top of each other, so if you like that, you're great. But if you're like me, then you know that's not so great. But then you also do have a notch there. So there is a notch and then a post, so you can also use that to silhouette. But again, I'm kind of asking a lot for a small uh, pistol like this. And then I guess last up, we've got this uh, uh, Micro Desert Eagle. And in my opinion, this one's a lot like the Guardian in the fact that its sights are definitely raised higher. This one isn't too bad, but this can be fairly abrupt. So the uh, Micro Desert Eagle does have those taller sights, but uh, you know not super fast to acquire. You know it's possible to acquire down here in the dark, but um, not perfect. In the light, it actually does a little better. But again, we're kind of faking it there. You don't shoot towards a light target very often. So that's another way to to sort of sort them out. We'll get rid of the droid here. So that was part three. Uh, next uh, video is going to deal with magazines, magazine releases, and then the frames and materials used to build these pistols. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.